I'm going to take a walk, mostly to town, maybe I'll take a Ineos taxi just for fun. And I'm just going to record of this one camera I'm taking in my man bag, just for funsies, to see what happens, a little adventure. And I plan to share it with you. down here like a tourist taking video although I'm not I live here but this is not the safest place in Cape Town it's a lot of homelessness a lot of gangsters stuff going about there's a guy homeless guy sitting here next to me can I get my foot in here how are you brother how are you doing cool buddy and everybody's asking for money um, stuff so I'm just showing you the vibe so it's not very wise to walk around with Recording yourself on the camera, check these guys out. Because they are opportunists, I don't know if the sound is going to be good, it's a bit windy. And you could, you stand a chance of getting robbed, so it's not wise to do what I do. But fuck it, you know, you only live once and I take chances. It makes life a bit more exciting, so we're walking down here. I don't know what's going to happen tonight. I'm kind of heading to my favorite bar. But let's just see what happens. Oh, what? So when you walk in dodgy areas like this, slightly dodgy, it's very important to be aware of what's going around you. Have situational awareness that can save you a lot of stuff you can see people who's around you who's approaching you who's looking at you strangely who's looking a bit scaly uh, figure out what is a possible escape route if something happens and that's how you stay out of cock like you say in Afrikaans be aware look around you and don't be a puss when you're in Africa especially people don't, don't like the camera okay? Africans but around here in the city people are kind of used to it so they're kind of nice this guy is but sorry bro I don't have any cash cool buddy so yeah sometimes I push the boundaries a bit and I'm trying to be polite always but I want to show people stuff and this is a public space so but it's good to be respectful but uh, how are you are you cool Uncle, yeah, you got a wonderful like that, you're gonna be robbed. Yeah, I know, it's possible. Yeah. Definitely possible. I can be robbed for sure. Let's hope for the best. Okay, I just stopped here this, uh, on the way while I'm walking. There's an African bar here. Yeah, I like this place because I go there often. I'm just gonna show you quickly inside here. Taking chances here. <laughs> oh, there's a barber here. I wonder if I can take an uh, image of them, let's see. Or a video of them. Hi, oh, sir. Can I take a, can I take like a 10 second video of you cutting here? Just a foot, 10 seconds. No, okay. Okay, he says no. He doesn't want to. It's fine. I asked. I tried. Sorry. 
Stolnod Road. And it's about dodgy. The sun is setting. I need to get out of the stretch. Parties, parties. <laughs> okay, I survived the most dodgy stretch of this road. Uh, it's a couple of kilometers down. So, so far, so good. I'm just walking past these very extremely people, friendly people standing here making food. I'm gonna see what their vibe is now. Let's go check. D6 menu. Let's go. They're standing here making food. They look like good people, good friendly folks. How's it, guys? Hi, we're good, we're good, we're good. What are you guys doing here? There's a weekly there's 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 fundraising for the District 6 Hanover Minstrels um, for uh, preparing themselves for the Coon Carnival. So they sell um, burevos and burgers and steak rolls, but our steak rolls are sold out already. Good um, for you. Good that for is you. what we do on a weekly basis. And you're standing in the forgotten part of District 6. Really? So this is District 6. This was District 6? Wow. This is District 6. This is District 6. Yes. Thank you. Uh, can I look at your food? Yo. Yeah. This is the last of the Mohegans. Hey, nice. <laughs> so, you, you, so you guys did well today, eh? Yes, no, thank you. Great, man. When is, the, when is the carnival, the next one in Cape Town? Um, the 2nd of January. 2nd of January. 2nd of January, Second of January Cape Town. This is the Let's carnival. See. Music. The Carnival, Kaapse Klopse. Kaapse Klopse, music in the streets, a big party. The streets will be lined after COVID. It's going to be cool yes. again. No, Come check it out in Cape Town, man. Cape Town is a cool place. Thank you, guys. <laughs> bye, 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 bye. <laughs> okay, I need to get out of this part of town before the sun sets. But this is what I like about this style of vlogging. Uh, you just get random people in random places, have conversations, see what's going down, what's the vibe. This is actually my favorite style of vlogging. So this, is, this won't be edited too much. I'm just going to put the clips in the line. And it will just be pure and authentic and just what's going down tonight. Hopefully the fun will get started. <laughs> Let's see. Walking in the middle of the road now, so I have options, left or right, forwards or back, you know. I have space around you, I have options. <laughs> Be fit. Close to town, not too far to go. Just before I eat town proper, there's one dodgy space. Uh, there's a lot of homeless people living there in an in a open space and you know they might see an opportunity a guy walking with his cell phone uh, yes another kind of homeless so they're all over town these days but just further ahead there's a, like a community and it's slightly dodgy because you know the guys can be pissed they might think they have an opportunity to rob a guy working on his own but let's take a chance man Here's one of the homeless communities, a lot of people living in tents on the street. So they're just down there, I'm not going to go in there now. See there's loads. I might end up here at some point, so I should probably start making friends. Yeah. Homeless in Cape Town, homeless in, Cape Town in summer should be okay. Beautiful mountain of clouds. Cape Town in summer, come and visit. One of the best places in the world. Magic, pure magic. Another homeless little community that's popping up all over Cape Town. But I think these guys have a right to live like anybody else. Give them a space, give them a place, let them live. That's what I say. Some guy sitting here in front. Let's go check out 
Probably some of the owners, guys. community I was talking about but there's so many now but this one has been here for a long time check close to town actually maybe this is not the one there's another one not too far away but they've got a whole big shack thing going on here this is how people live in Cape Town it's the other side of life I actually think at some point I'll just make a vlog just about all these communities all these homeless communities just check them out have some conversations a few interviews it should be really really interesting tell me in the comments <laughs> what do you think also remember if you like this video this vlog and you want to see more like this you can buy me a beer please subscribe and like my channel or whatever it helps with the algorithm and uh, if you want to buy me a beer just look in the comment section down below i'll put a link to my paypal my paypal video and if you buy me a beer i'll even put your name in the next vlog check this out kids dancing Ahoy! Have a good night, man. Have a good night. Okay, we're more or less in the CBD. I'm walking up Baitakan Street now, which is quite a famous street. Uh, and up there on the corner, there's a famous bar, the Kimberley Bar. I'll walk past that on my way. To the bar I usually hang out, which is Van Hunks. Some people. Yeah, hi. It is the Jesus Christ, the Lord Universal. Okay. Loads of African churches in Cape Town, all over, over Africa. Like Christianity came in and colonized the traditional belief systems of Africa. But hey. There it goes. <laughs> I'm trying my best, my friend. Approaching a very famous strip club in Cape Town that's been here for many, many, many years. It's called Mavericks. Beautiful naked ladies. If that's your thing, come hang out in Mavericks. This is very, very expensive, but hey man, small price to pay for beauty. Look at this, nice piece of things. Power. So this guy, I think one of the security in Mavericks, started following me, so I just ran away. <laughs> yeah, man, fun times in the city. Not a cafe. Approaching the Kimberley Bar. Look, okay, we're still in a slightly dodgy part, but any big city is dodgy internationally. But uh, we're getting to the Kimberley Bar. Can I show you that very quick? And from there, the last couple of kilometers, I might take a taxi because it's uphill and I'm tired. Oh, the power just went out. Fucking amazing. Let's check out the bar. Kimberley Bar. Ahoy. Oh, 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 oh,
Waiting for my bolt, my taxi. Okay, what do we have here next to the Kimberley Hotel? Let's check. Kraken Pool Bistro Dinkies. Okay. Let's see. Okay, so I ordered the bolt and the guy didn't arrive. This is the second time it happens to me in Cape Town. Sometimes you order the guy a bolt, the taxi driver, and they purposely don't come and you get a cancellation fee. But we got a good bolt driver now, the second one. But you can refund your money, I did, and also report the driver. And uh, now we're on our way. Thank you, guy, for pitching up. <laughs> so. That shit happens all over the world in any city, so be aware if you order a Bolt or Uber or whatever. Some people are assholes and they will try and take the piss out of you, but just report them and don't take that shit. Yeah.